Hey guys, Harsh here, back in the video. So another ESP8266 aka the Node MCU video for you guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this LDR sensor over here, which is formerly called the light dependent resistor. And I'm going to use the analog output for this sensor because that is where you can get the most accuracy and set things accordingly for your system. And luckily on the ESP board, there is only one analog input available, which is on the top right corner over here, as you can see only one input and that is why I switch to the ESP32 board in which literally any pin can be your analog input. So if you are just starting with your ESP, I would strongly recommend that you switch over to the ESP32 but obviously these things are a lot cheaper so maybe your project has a tight budget or whatever but still it is a pretty good module. So let's connect it first. We'll take our LDR sensor and as you can see over here we have four pins. One is VCC, one is ground and this one also has a digital output which will I think transmit a low signal when there isn't enough light and when there is so much light it will just straightly put out a digital signal out so that's why it is written as DO digital out but as I said before you're using the analog output which is on the far left corner over here so obviously we'll first connect our ground to any ground pin on the ESP module so I'm going to just connect it right over here as you can see now we'll take our VCC which is our positive power input and we'll connect to 3.3 volts it could also work with 5 volts but this board only outputs 3.3 volts so we'll use that and then finally we will connect our analog out which is over here on the far left to pin number A0 on the ESP board so it is as I've said right over here just like so so that is all for the basic connection. Now we can head over to a computer and program it accordingly. Okay, so here is the tiny code that you are going to upload onto our node MCU. But before we do that, first we need to make sure that our Arduino IDE can actually send data to our node MCU because by default it can only program the Arduino boards and not the ESP boards. So first of all, what you have to do is just, just go to the file section click on preferences and there you can see we have this option over here the additional boards manager url you have to paste this link over here which i have given in the description and if you have any other links such as i have the one for the esp32 one over here as well as you can see so what you can do is just separate them by a comma over here as you can see so first the link will go in then you can put your comma and then you can paste your another link for your 8266 boards once you have pasted there you can just go ahead and click on ok now head to the boards manager it is this section over here as you can see and on top there you will see the boards manager and here you have to type in esp 8266 you will get only one option which is by the ESP8266 community just click on the install button and I am waiting the remove option over here because I have already installed it so first of all we have to define our pin which is obviously A0 it is only one pin on the ESP8266 so you can directly put it in the analog read function but I just kept it separately now I am going to print this in the serial monitor the values of the analog read so I am starting the serial monitor over here at 9600 baud rate then in the loop function as you can see we are serial printing with print ln function so each value will be printed in the next line not in a continuous manner so we are analog reading the value of the LDR pin over here as you can see LDR pin being the A0 over here you may have seen that we didn't define it as an input on the setup function as you do with digital pin and that is because I think all the analog pins on these sort of boards are only for input you cannot actually output analog data via them so we don't need to define it as an input or an output we also had a delay of 500 millisecond which is half a second so that we don't get bombarded with so many values and once you are satisfied with the code you can just go ahead and click on this option over here and then click on the select boards and port and here you have to type in node mcu you will just type node and you will get this option over here so i am using the node mcu 1.0 esp 12e module i will select that and when you connect your board to the computer you will get the com port over here so in my case it is com port 5 i will just select that and then click on ok now all you can do is just go ahead and click on this upload button this will first compile the sketch and upload it to the board now as you can see it has completed the uploading part so we'll now just open up our serial monitor to do that head to the top right corner and click on this option over here the serial monitor and now as you can see we start to get all the values so if i were to put it in a very well lit section you can see the value gets decreased and if I put my finger on top of the sensor then you can see the value is increasing so the darker the area is the higher this value is going to be and the maximum range for this value is 1023 and the minimum being 0 so in absolutely bright light it will be 0 but uh, that is hardly going to be the case so as you can see it is now in low 250s and if I put my finger over it or whole fish then you can see it is getting the full 1024 value so you can just experiment with your environment 
check how the light intensity is in your area and you will get these numbers on it as well there is also an option for digital output so after a certain value it will output a digital signal from its digital pin but that is for another video so that is guys that's how you can get the analog output readings from a LDR sensor to your ESP8266 node MCU board so thanks for watching the video guys hopefully you enjoyed it and I was able to explain very clearly and I have given the code and the circuit diagram although there are only three wires but still I gave the circuit diagram in the description box below so you can check that out for yourself so until then I will catch you all in the next one